we meet a giant sword maker in West Tisbury. Next. So Michael, you make some of the most amazing swords we've ever seen. It's an epic thing. How'd you get involved in this? Well, uh, you know, I was born in the 80s, so there was lots of fantasy movies when I was young and, you know, trying to... It was very hard in Ireland to buy a sword. I'm, I'm lucky that way that there was no Amazon.com or there was no... I mean, I came from a small town, so if I wanted a sword, the only way to make it was, you know, to or the only way to get it was to make it. I've become the giant sword guy because the, you can't get them anywhere else. I'm the guy on planet Earth. You have to come to if you want a big giant sword. Who's your average customer and what are they looking for? They all like video games. Um, but what they're look, what they're looking for a giant sword that they can't buy because they're too big to be mass produced by China. And these are like video game swords or weapons that people see and yeah. play these video games with and then they say, I want the real thing. Yeah. So usually it's weird ones, and the, the Buster Sword is too big. That's the main one I make. That was 54 pounds. A historical sword was being between three and five pounds. I, uh, I got a bodybuilder here on the island to try and, and use it in the video. Um, I thought he'd be better at using it than me, but it turns out at that weight and size, the, the human body, the 54 pounds worth of metal doesn't care how long you've been at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> 